everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Knee Slapping K pop podcast. I am Kayla, and today I am here with Sammy. Hello. And we have yet again, for some reason, watched another K drama, but this time it was good again. So that was for very one exciting. Of the, for one of the few times where we can come back and say it was very, we liked it. We don't watch Not a lot of good shows together, good. but eh. this one was fun. And this is it a good show? Probably not, but it was super fun. <laughs> we had such a good time. So we we watched The Heavenly Idol. Mm-hmm. And why did we do this? So we've been watching we've been watching shows together this year, basically the entire year. Mm-hmm. I mean, starting with Boys Planet, going through Peak Time, going into Boys Fantasy. We've just been watching a show at all at all times, essentially. Yep. Mm-hmm. And after Boys Fantasy ended, we're like, well, do you want to just watch The Heavenly Idol? Because we heard we about do it. Also we also love the K- K- K-pop. We love the K-pop K-dramas. We watch a lot of them. We have multiple episodes on the K-pop K-dramas. So many. And honestly, this is the best one. This it is my is. favorite one. It's At the very so least, funny. it's my favorite one. It's so fun. It's so funny. It's so much fun. I have only heard negative reviews about this show, and I do not understand them. I this mean, show is you're taking it, you're taking it way too seriously. Um, if you're oh, yeah. if you're giving this show a bad review, like it's oh, not. Yeah. Is it a good show? Probably not. But I was not a show I think intended to be good in any capacity. No, this show was intended to be crazy and fun. Yeah, and it was crazy and fun in every way. Absolutely. So the heavenly idol. What is the heavenly idol about? The Heavenly Idol is about K-pop Jesus. That's really all you need to know if you want to know the general gist of it. It, oh, like, yeah. it is K-pop Idol, but he's Jesus. And like but that's not even Jesus. a joke. No, That's what the show is. And as the show goes on, you find out that he's more and more K-pop Jesus than you think. Mm-hmm. So this is the spoiler. We're not even going to do a spoiler free because honestly speaking... This show's ridiculous. Even if I did spoil this for you, it, you'd have a great time anyway. It's And two, there's nothing I can tell you without just spoiling it for you because this show is insane. We're going to go through the plot of this show and it is so fast paced and like so much shit happens in happens. this show. Like when we were just like writing the script and reviewing this, we're just like, what the fuck's happening the entire time? Just we, we so finished much. the show last week and we like between the two of us we had to piece together. We did also watch the show in like three sittings. Yes, because it was Because we were we like We couldn't stop. It was so it was good. enthralling. It was so good. I could I wanted to know what happened. Exactly. I was like, what is going on? Mm-hmm. But it was so much fun. It was very fast paced. This, oh yeah. Also, our description is going to seem very stream of consciousness. Yes. This show feels very stream of consciousness. It's just like it's things great. just keep happening, and like they don't make any logical sense a lot of the time. And you know what? That's fine. That's a part of it, really. That's a good. That's like that's one of its uh positives. And that's not a negative for this show. Mm-hmm. So All we right. start this show in this like weird medieval fantasy world that has like slightly catholic undertones to it it's like if you ever imagine like a fantasy setting where like the yes. main like governing body is like a church it's, it's a theocracy it's yeah. very much seems that's like a what theocracy. it is mm-hmm. uh the the priests are dressed like it's very like, slightly also da vinci code in yeah. like the catholic parts of the da vinci code not mm-hmm. like the tom hanks parts of the da vinci code um there's also the only reason that makes it medieval is because there is one woman character in that that she's dressed like a knight. Yes. So like that's part of it, but like for the most part you don't really see anybody. It is very theocracy. Yeah. And also we we, we follow the main priest, the high priest. So he's Our main like, boy is the high priest. Our main boy. They follow a god who's a woman. So mm-hmm. progressive, great. We love that. Um that statue, honestly, the first time I saw it, did just look like a statue of the actual Virgin Mary. And I was definitely, like, that, that was Mary? definitely like, the no. inspiration. There is so much like Catholic imagery in this show; Multiple it is ridiculous. The- and when I say Catholic imagery, we're talking like old school. They're dressed in the robes. They're dr- like the the pomp and circumstance of Catholicism. Yeah. In when they transfer over into the real world, they do mainly do a lot of this in churches. Mm-hmm. They are in a lot of Catholic churches. We do get a lot know, of Catholic, churches. Christian churches. Our boy is least. just dressed up like a priest at multiple points um, for various for many re- reasons. various reasons, but that yes. also happens. That's also a good time. 
But so uh, immediately into this, he's fighting demons. Mm-hmm. Good to know. And then he gets body swapped into the into a cave of idol. Yes. And he's not having a good time. No. And he gets body swapped into this K-pop idol right as about they're like about to go on a music show stage, essentially. Essentially, they were about to go on M Countdown, and it's like, well, he, I don't know who I am, what's going on, and why the fuck am I wearing a crop top? And he is, like, making that known to everybody around him, where he's like, I don't know who I am, or where I am, or what is this about? And they and are people like, are just like, just get on fucking stage and figure it out. And go. <laughs> and then they're just confused as to why he doesn't, when he's clearly, like, clearly this man has, like in their mind like fallen and hit his head he is having a psychotic break Mm -hmm. something is happening to him and they and i mean you know in a five minutes thing i can understand you'd be like just go don't be dramatic yeah but from that point on you're like huh the just immediate response to everybody around him like manager ceo group members to this man seemingly having a mental breakdown I don't know. He's, he's like, I don't know who I am. I don't know who any of you are. I were like, what's I happening? I don't know what K-pop is. I'm a singer. What's going on? Like, he is not pretending he doesn't know. He's also my favorite part about him is he has so much confidence. Yes. He is stands down to nobody. He's like, no, I don't know what's going on. Why the and like he does not pretend at any point. He just he says so many like nothing. wrong things with so much, so much confidence. Just so much confidence. But everyone's reaction to him having this like is essentially what would seem like a psychotic break is to let's put him in as much media as possible. He needs oh, yes. as much media attention as he because humanly for, possible. Because like, essentially in that first performance, he essentially like and this is more of the Catholic imagery, he just, like, T-poses, like, Jesus on a cross and is like, I don't know what's going on or something. And, like, that obviously or goes viral. I think viral he says, I don't know how to dance or something like that. Something like that. And it's amazing. And everyone's like, what the fuck's what's going, going on, on here? with him? And then he immediately goes on, like, they send him on some type of, like, trashy um, like, interview, uh, like, interview YouTube show. interview show. Where they always try to, like, catch these K-pop idols in, like, a right. scandal where they're, like... And I'm, like, so why do you send them there? And he's just, like, saying shit because he doesn't know what's happening. And, and also he was, like, are you close saying... to your group members? And he's, like, I don't really know them at all because he doesn't because he just randomly he ended up like, here. Like, also, for... they have not prepped this man. They're just, like, go out there. And I think they think that he's going to, like, have some sort of sense of self-preservation mm-hmm. as most people would. No. He has none because he doesn't actually he know doesn't what's going on. He doesn't know what's going on. And also, he's not going to lie. No. Um. Another thing we have to mention is that the devil, yes, the actual devil the also devil. Uh, appears in this world. And he's like a CEO. Mm-hmm. Good he for him. also body swaps into a CEO. So now yes. he's just going to fight the devil in our world instead of his yes. weird medieval fantasy world. And when he does body, and when our main man body swaps, he still has all of his divine power. Mm-hmm. Um, many of his power is continuously uh, recharged by him being gifted chocolate. Yes. That's not a joke. He is constantly eating chocolate. And it's hilarious because they keep trying to take it from him because he's a cave up idol and he can't eat. He he is at one point served a salad yes. and gets so angry. He was like, at, what why is am this I eating salad? rabbit food? <laughs> Like, what is, th- I have a salad and a tiny chicken breast. What the fuck is, who is this supposed to feed? Uh-huh. He's so angry at the salad. It's amazing. And he is just, whenever he's like in a moment where he's like in a battle or some shit and he's just yelling, he's like, I need you to get me chocolate. <laughs> he's now. like, I need it. <laughs> I also like the idea that it has to be gifted chocolate. So like, that's the, it doesn't the be part of it, the part him. of it being gifted is what's giving him his power yes. is because he's, at this point in the show, he's seemingly getting his divine power from a god. From so god. people giving him quote unquote offerings, which is like he gets a lot of those for like being a K pop idol and people gift him stuff. That's what's like fueling his power. Yes. Because at the end of the day, like he doesn't even need to be like gifted to him. It can just be just like be chocolate that's like 
they take him to a therapist who obviously is like not the worst therapist because she's like he's having a mental break yeah like this is a bad thing like just has like chocolate on her desk as like as one would Mm -hmm. and like that counts as an offering and that gives him like magic powers yeah and it's when he's meeting this uh what's it called this therapist that he has his like weird like psychic connection with his other with the idol so the, the I- idol who was body bodies. swapped into yes. his body in the so fantasy the idol world. is now pretending to be a high priest and actually is pretending because he, you know, we'll find out later why he's pretending and actually kind of knows what's happening. Mm-hmm. But, um, so the, he obviously wants to switch back and they have to like do this like incantation thing to sw- swap back. The idol doesn't want to do it. He's like, I would rather be here in a high p- and pretending to be a high priest. He's like, I don't want to than- be a failed K-pop idol. That's yes. not fun rather than uh win an acting award uh rather than be a failed cable idol so if you win an acting award in this world i will switch back with you Mm -hmm. and that's the old and that's the deal they make and he's like this is a fucking stupid deal that i just made but i guess i have to be a good cable idol then there is the female lead of this show Uh uh-huh the storyline is the worst part of it. So I will also say the romance element of the show, because I think this is technically a rom-con ruining the show. Every single episode that is romantic focus, I'm like, this is actively ruining the plot. Like, it's so unnecessary. I wish she would. Honestly, if this was just, if they had switched his, because he needs a sidekick, right? Like, mainly what I like about her is her being, like, a sidekick for him going through this, having to, like, learn about this world or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. If they had taken her out, taken out her storyline 100%, kept everything the same, and just replaced it with one of his group members that get, because there's four of them. I think uh, something he's like part that. of a cable group called Wild Animal. I think there's five of them total. Wild Two Animal them also, a, um, just the VAV logo, oh, just by the way. The VAV <laughs> they logo, just sold the VAV w- logo. Yeah, because it's like a W A, so it's like a W with like the A in the middle. Mm-hmm. But that just is V A V. Yes. So why? I love the fact that they just stole V A V's logo, and V A V is not disbanded. V A V just had a comeback. They are like wild. Leave leave V A V out of this. They deserve better. Mm-hmm. But if they had taken her out, given the storyline that not her storyline, but like given something to just one of those members like because only two of them really get any characterization yeah and even if they would have given that storyline to one of the ones that had characterization still would have worked mm-hmm. like any of the four of them could have gotten the storyline because kind of the members of wild animal get kind of nothing two of them get like little tiny storylines and then one of them almost get gets a, and then get one of them at the award show almost gets like uh recruited by the cult or the devil yeah. somebody but like really nothing much happens right with them and so, it's like it it's weird also to try to force a romance plot line into yeah. the show when this man is a priest to begin and with also having a mental to her knowledge up until like a certain point having a mental breakdown yes it's weird also her entire backstory plot incredibly unnecessary to begin and with incredibly weird to put in this comedy based show yeah because essentially she is a manager of a previous um i think she's a, either a soloist or a soloist from a k-pop group i don't I remember think it's a k-pop group and then she's like one of i don't think she's their man i think she like works for the company as like the media or like, like the for, like, um, media the concept or, or like, like something yeah. concept related but she apparently just completely changed the concept for this girl. And that was, like, really, really, like, not well accepted by the fandom. And so she tries to commit suicide. And then she stops being a manager because she felt like that was her fault. And it's like, we get a lot of things going on with that. And it just feels like this is not the the K-drama where this belongs at all. Because it doesn't yeah, even it's... feel, like, very well and executed it either. it, like, never goes into the main story like it's always a side thing going on and it's like i think we get one thing where she's trying to jump off a roof again and then the like k-pop jesus comes in and tries to tell her to not but it's it feels like it's such like a like a brushed aside thing that it's like and i don't understand what the purpose of it is other than the fact of just to have another thing about the k-pop industry in here although it 
did, it's not at all necessary for the show. So that's sort of the last I'm even going to talk about that storyline because it's very inconsequential and doesn't really do anything. It doesn't go anywhere. It like happens, gets resolved a little bit, and then we don't talk about it again. So Like ever again. Yeah. So next we have, so essentially after he becomes like a sensation because of his viral I can't dance thing, he starts, our K-pop Jesus starts to get on more shows. Mm -hmm. He gets, he's invited to be part of like this weird idol duet show. I don't even know if it's a duet show. It's just like a weird music competition show. Yes, but the only... They only Brown do the duet. They are both duets. No, they only do the duet once because the first one is just like by himself, and that's when he gives his like he does his weird Christian K-pop ballad, he and then do- like his weird magic goes through the entire audience, and he cures a man of baldness. He does cure a <laughs> all man sorts of, of random stuff. Yeah. I mean, we we have forgotten the fact that like when he when he first starts having his mental break, they take him to the hospital to make sure he's not like. He doesn't have a brain tumor, and then he cures a boy's arm, and also cures one of his fans of C, um, C like chronic Trevor, heart chronic heart failure. failure, and that's like weird. Yep, and he's because- literally just performing miracles on the street, like Jesus. The man yes. is just K-pop Jesus, very much just K-pop Jesus. So yes, he he creates a new genre we like to call Christian K-pop because he realized that all the songs they want him to sing are quote unquote vulgar. Yes. So uh, he took this song, rewrote the lyrics, and now it's about God. It, it's giving very much that one South Park episode where they just call Christian rock is just a normal love song, but replace all the pronouns with God. Yes. It's very oh, much Jesus. giving that. It's giving that. Mm-hmm. That's what it's because he like rewrites the song that was made for him to yes. be about God. Yes, yes. Uh, so that's that. Uh, he also has to work with this ballad singer, as all of these shows, even in real life, have random ballad singers this, on them. That, and so that's he's true like, this life. man is clearly the oldest man in this competition, and has like no purpose really being here and other than also to be a ballad seems singer. To hate the fact that there's K-pop idols on this show. Yes, even though the show is mostly K-pop idols, <laughs> mostly K-pop idols, and he's like, well, I'm obviously gonna win because I'm better than them, and I'm like. Sir, sir, please. The minute we saw you, you are like singing at an empty coffee shop that you presumably own. Mm-hmm. I don't think you're doing as great as you think you're doing. Yep, yep. Also on this show is a um, an, this kid from another K-pop group who is uh, seemingly evil, and Just I don't know evil. if we fully get explanation as to why he's evil other than the fact that he's just a bad person generally yeah i think he's just a lot of selfishness Mm -hmm. and also um i think that it's partially because i don't know at what point he makes that deal with the devil right because i think when we meet him he does he has not made a deal with the devil yet because yeah that's what i'm not sure about because when we first meet him he's already like a pretty shitty person but we do learn that he pushed another kid down the stairs so he could rep- he mm-hmm. could take his place in the k-pop group they were about to debut mm-hmm. and that was an insane thing to do um but because he was already so like inherently evil the devil gets his hands on him and then turns him into a demon mm-hmm. and like has gives him like demonic power so when he's doing um our k-pop jesus is doing this duet with this like old ballad man he's like a Casting some type of like demon magic on the ballad man that essentially just like takes his voice away, so he just like cannot sing at all during this competition. Um, but then K-pop Jesus, because he can perform miracles and has his divine power, um, essentially is able to overcome that so he can get his voice back. But it's so funny because in order to do that, it looks like he's just like feeling up his like neck. A lot, which yeah. is like really He's just like weird. holding the back of his neck. <laughs> yes. For a little bit. And it's weird. For way longer than anyone should be. And so oh, this absolutely. is sort of where we get this like side plot of like this man is gonna like collect a harem of like quote unquote like gay lovers essentially. Oh, where yeah. just the way that he is interacting with all of these other like male celebrities is like gonna be taken in the, that in that direction. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Um, 
Yeah, so at some point also, this crazy man, crazy evil man, uh, turns into a full demon. Yes. Horns and all. Mm Mm-hmm. He, and then essentially this is where the female lead finds out that our man is just actually Jesus, because, you know... I think he asked for some chocolate. Down by, yeah. yeah, one chocolate and two just horns, demon, rotting teeth, all of the above. Mm-hmm. And then he defeats the demon, but then apparently the guy's just fine. No consequences for being like for just demoning, demoning out. If you he will. is just fine, but then we'll continue to be evil after this point, which is no, oh, yes, because of course he is. Because why not? Mm-hmm. So then we get, uh, what's next? Oh, we just get the little side plot of, um, Casey. Oh, Cassie. So Case, Cassie, Cassie. I think, we, I think we settled on Cassie. Cassie with a K. K K-A-S-Y is the way it's spelled in the subtitle, so, you know. And I can't fully remember how they're pronouncing it in the show. I don't remember, because also, he seems like the guy that's sort of been tasked with, like, F- keeping our guy, you know, like babysitting you know, this, him for babysitting the most part, him essentially, yeah, because he's just sort of been here and not doing great because he's still having a mental break and no one seems to give a shit. Because mm-hmm. why would they? So Cassie has like he was on the ballad show, he was on all this other stuff. He seems like so very much now- the K-pop group member they send on variety shows. Mm-hmm. And now that they have this other kid who is getting all this media attention because he's having a mental breakdown, um, he is also getting sent on variety shows, so the two of them get sent together to a lot of stuff. Yay. So, Cassie is revealed, like, he is constantly texting, and you can tell exactly where it's going, because why else would a K-pop idol be texting other than if they had a secret girlfriend? Uh-huh. Yay. So that he, comes out and kind of goes nowhere. Yeah. We and it's like, I don't even think we meet this girlfriend no. at all. There's like one, there's like two, like, I would say three women in this show. He, it just turns out that we find out he has a girlfriend. He gets like grounded from going outside for a little bit, but then he'll, he runs away um, mm-hmm. for a hot second and then they have to go find him and multiple and tell times him everything's okay multiple times during this show does one of his group members run away and he has to go and bring them back and it's giving very much like prodigal son parable <laughs> very prodigal son um a lot of the show is giving uh so a thing that some people might not know about us is both me and kayla went to catholic school yes yes and very much this show, I don't know if any of these people have ever read a Bible that made this show. Right? But did they un- unint- but also Bible stories are just stories that have been told a thousand other times. So, like, I don't know if they're just dealing with, like, cliches. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, these are hilarious parallels to us and only us as two people who yeah. have- Yeah. As someone who's Catholic grown school, up with so much knowledge have- of Catholicism, it's yeah. like, and I, also- there's no way I could watch this show and not relate it back to just oh, religion. <laughs> And also, one, have a sense of humor, and two, do not have the religious trauma in yeah. which this would be true. Where it would for make me mad, us. yeah. It's just like, funny. No, this is just a great time. It's just for real both funny. Of us. It's so much fun. Um, if you do have religious trauma, this show might actually be a little triggering. No, it's not. It's so ridiculous. Because I don't it's even like understand how. it's because a lot of the like the end game religion stuff is more so of like a fantasy element to it yes. anyway. But a lot of this, like, middle show stuff, it's, like, it's so Catholic. It's, like, giving, it's giving Catholic school. Yeah. Um, oh, another thing that keeps happening is, like, they keep... So he has a photo shoot. Our K-pop Jesus has a photo shoot halfway through this. And he just goes straight, like, communion photo shoot style of, like, on your knees praying to God. Like, the mm-hmm. exact communion photos that I feel like every kid has to take. Yes, yes. And it's, everyone loves it. Everyone's like, this is a great direction. This is, like, phenomenal. <laughs> this is I'm phenomenal. like, what's well, going like, what? on? What's and happening? Of so many times in the show is he's either on a photo shoot or some type of, like, he's learning choreography. 
or in any other situation. But if there's something that he deems to be too vulgar, he just will not do it. He won't He's do like, it. Hey, because I think in this photo shoot, they also tell was like, hey, what if we go like a little bit more sexy? And he's like, absolutely not. No. That He's would be like, I will walk out of this photo shoot. It's like, all right, sure. So we've yet to mention his manager. Uh huh. So in the beginning of the show, I believe the manager quits just for like. This group sucks. Uh, just because, uh, yeah, everyone sucks and he's probably getting paid pennies. Mm-hmm. So our female lead becomes, I think, their, like, domestic ma- or, like, their, like, domestic manager. And then they need a road manager. I don't know why those are different things. This show just, I feel like, makes up the rules that goes along. Yep, yep. And that role is being played by a Grim Reaper. Yep. Who is just... <laughs> Because as long, along with the Catholic imagery, we also got a Grim Reaper in here now. <laughs> because of course we do. And this Grim Reaper, like every Grim Reaper since Goblin came out, is just playing Lee Dong Wook's character. Yeah, we got a Goblin. hot Grim Reaper. It's a hot <laughs> Grim Reaper that's always in a black Who's there suit. Who's their manager? Always in a him. suit, yes. It's just giving, uh, it's giving Lee Dong Wook's character from, uh, Goblin at it's all the times. type of manager that would definitely like have his own fan site or something for a K-pop mm-hmm. group. It's like where that's where we're headed with this man. Um, but he's here to watch over our little K-pop Jesus because the little K-pop Jesus is like fucking up the underworld because he's healing people and people aren't dying on time or as they're supposed to or predicted to. I think it's because of like that like chronic heart failure girl because yeah. i think he just added like 10 years onto the back end of her life i think so something like that and then or he's and then someone in the underworld the korean underworld is like this is not adding up and they're like go send out a guy to take care of it or at least watch over him so he knows he has divine power he knows he is from this other world and has body swapped and he's just here to kind of babysit him to make sure he's not he making really anything too drastic nothing. He, he really doesn't do a is lot. not out here doing much. He doesn't do a lot till the very, like, very end. Until, like, but we're in, like, end game plot. Very end, he's not really doing... So, he doesn't do a lot. It just, he becomes no. more... His, like, position, I guess, is more relevant in the end, but... Yes. He he's is, still, he in terms of purpose, not there. doing a lot. I mean, I do think they really could have combined him and the female lead and just made them have a cute little bond because he really has no time to do anything except stand there. Yeah. And I think there could have been a real funny story there. There this could have been a real fun buddy comedy. Yeah. But we didn't get that unfortunately. This had to be it really a could different it could have romance more, for some reason. If it reason. would have gone more goblin, yeah. I think it would have been funnier. Yes. And I think maybe that's also another reason people don't like it is because the romance isn't good, which I agree the romance yeah. is not good. And I, But for me, it's not good because it's actively ruining the real plot of the Parts show. Parts of the show that I think Because I think people are good. probably like, we want more romance. And I'm like, no, get rid of that entirely. No, if the romance was just gone, I think that we would have had like an actually good show here. Yeah. So, uh... It's a Grim Reaper manager now. Grim Reaper Man is here. Grim Reaper Man's having a good time. So, at some point in this, uh, he does get a part in a show. Yes, they he he does, they do get him into acting. Uh, the name of the show, I believe, is called, like, False God. Mm Mm-hmm. And he's playing an actual priest. Yes. He is. from what I'm getting from this show, he's playing, like, the antagonist priest, because you see parts of the show being filmed, and he's not playing the main character. No. He seems to be playing... Like, like a secondary priest character of some kind. the primary priest is trying to leave the priesthood to be with this woman, Uh because of course he is. Of course that's the plot, because that's, that's, that's it has to mirror the, the same issue that he's having in his real life. Obviously. And then he is trying to, like, stop the, he's like the, I feel like he ends up being the quote-unquote villain of the show, because he's like, you can't do this, which I'm like, fair enough. You can't turn your back on God like this. Yeah, and like, if you're a priest and you just on a whim decide to stop being a priest, maybe you do need someone to just be like, hey. What are you doing? Are you sure? Uh-huh. Like, are we positive? Are we sure? Are we sure? And then at some point, I think that in the show, 
this happens later in the show, but I believe in the show he like gets stabbed he gets or shot. Stabbed or shot. I think it's shot. I don't remember. I think fully. it's shot because yeah. like the, he has like a confrontation with like the other priest and like the girlfriend. Yes, yes. And it's like a whole thing. But like he's playing an actual priest, collar and all. Yes. Very Catholic. Very Catholic. And you know it's Catholic because if it was like any kind of Protestant, it would not be a problem that he's getting married. Uh huh. So they have to be Catholic it's priests. It's definitely a Catholic priest, for they sure. They have to be Catholic priests. And then this is also f- ties into his gay lovers because they also yes, think that yes. he, they, him and the other, because so the other priest, the other actor is part of this cult that specifically worships the same God from his world's religion. So yes. he's like, ah, I could use them for help. I need to join but this cult. I need to, co- I need to join the cult, but he doesn't want to let him in the cult because it's a cult. Right. Like it's not really an open invitation. And it's like, this is like apparently a high profile cult. And so this mm-hmm. guy keeps telling him, like, you need to be a higher profile celebrity before we let you in this cult. It's very Scientology. <laughs> very Scientology. Um, there's so, also a moment when they're filming this that I think leads to the another weird plot line, the candy plot line, we'll get to eventually, yes. where he sends out, um, well, the de- the devil, the devil is sending out, um, a, one of his demon goblin things to murder K-pop Jesus or just interfere with him as much as he can, and so this leads to, um. His co-star essentially just falling off the roof during a stunt. Um, but he catches him because he's Jesus and he can do that. And, and that then I, that is also hurt anybody at all. Of course. Um, so he catches him falling off the roof. This also adds to his harem of gay lovers that he is collecting. And that yeah. also leads to a CF deal for the both of them. So yeah, so th- yeah because of this whole thing and it being caught on camera, they get a sponsorship from a candy company, and mm-hmm. we will get to that. We'll but get there eventually. Before that, he has another random thing that happens to him where he is, he goes to meet, what, I think it's like part of the cult situation, and he ends up meeting like this rich lady. I think he just like and runs into a rich lady in the in like a parking lot. In like a back alley. It's, or like a yeah, parking it's lot like in her car. Really just talks to her briefly and that's yes. it. Yeah. And then the cops show up. Mm-hmm. And arrest him because they believe that he was being solicited by her for sex. Yes. And that is illegal. But also it feels like this is a very, very big overreaction. A super big overreaction to also blame him for it to begin with. So yeah, <laughs> to blame him for being solicited. Mm-hmm. And also like there's this whole thing there. And then at some point he goes into police custody because apparently you got to be handcuffed if you're being solicited. That seems like not right. And you if, don't he, need if that you're much. just being questioned this at the police a... station, like why are we handcuffing him? And also, why are we treating this like he murdered this lady? Right. Like, the, he was the one being solicited. Yes. And then he, and then at some point the devil sends in one of his demons, and then he gets he gets stabbed, stabbed in police custody. And the thing I love about when he gets stabbed in police custody is. They are trying to get him out of because the paramedics have come in. Paramedics have him on like a gurney. The manager is there. Mm -hmm. They're going out of this police station into the ambulance, and there's like a dozen reporters, and they just have to sort of stand there as he's bleeding out. Yes. Like they're just not trying to push through the reporters, and the manager lady's giving like this speech. It's like, what the fuck is going on? (laughs) And this man has been stabbed. Like, it doesn't look like it's a what fatal stabbing, but he needs something. We got. We probably should fix it. Right? Because like, don't just, like, fucking stand there and block an ambulance. Like It's amazing and it's hilarious. And also, at some point, he's on this weird dating show. Yes, he's on a dating along show. Along with the cult man. And this other evil kid, who we'll get to briefly. Who we'll get this is to. this is not the same evil kid you pushed a kid down the stairs. This is a new, a, different a evil new K-pop younger K pop idol who is also so, evil, who is a part of a group that's just called Evil Boys. Mm-hmm. Because why would what, we've run out of K pop names if we're going with Evil Boys, right? Uh, so that group is sort of like this group of like five youngish kids. Yeah. Like, they're, they're already K-pop idols, but they're becoming, like, a big sensation. And we find out that those kids were essentially tricked into making a deal with the devil, like, yes. contract and all. Yes. And now they have been possessed by goblins. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what? It's like they signed a contract with the devil and essentially 
we're like we're gonna trade our souls for success Maybe as a fortune. k-pop group and so i think what that does is it because i think they had already debuted but yes. then they it, but then it like erased the memory of everyone of their debut and then it, they re-debuted them as evil boys and it's like as new hot k-pop group and yes. then someone from the devil stole like five goblins from the underworld and then put the goblins in the boys bodies and yes. they're just sometimes they and can like, turn they into are, goblins now <laughs> yeah and like there's one specifically evil kid that's like real into he's it. real into being and a then goblin. there's like a bunch that we don't know and then there's one kid that like is like i don't want this to be my life yes. please help he's because like, i don't think help me that many of them were fully you know in on being de- being demons yes I think because, there's a lot of, like, duress that know. happened here. Also, if someone told me, yeah, we're selling our soul to the devil, I don't know if I would 100% believe them. Probably not. If we were being honest. Like, it just feels very odd. Very odd. Here. Um, But this one kid is played by a member of Elast. Yes. Elast and is Elast also is on the show for here. a hot second. And, like, on and, these like, music the shows and stuff, they're just here. Because that's yes. what they do when they get, like, one member of the, like, new good boy group in a show. They're, like, they use the rest of the group just kind of as extras, and that's chill. Oh, yeah. It happened with BDC and I'll Be Your Night. Yes, yes. It happened with a bunch. And if you know, and here's the thing specifically, if you know new goo K-pop boy groups, All you over will find these shows. them everywhere. Yes. You have to be into a real specific niche. The K-pop but, dramas, but you know. But, like, if you're into the niche, you got this. Mm-hmm. We are, we obviously. Are. Clearly, we're here in this niche, but um, this Clearly. is a plot line. The Goblin Boys. I don't know if we get a full resolution to this plot line ever. I we don't, don't think we at do. some point they do like help these boys, and I would assume that they're that he's not dead, right? Like I'm assuming that they're okay, but still. And as I think that this um, the con the word specific wording of their contract was that they were going to get enough fame to win like best new boy group at the year and end they awards. Did. But it was like, well, if you don't win that award, I think that'll break the contract. But then right before this award ceremony happens, there's some type of, like, weird contract breaking, I think, that K-pop Jesus is trying to do. Except that the evil kid is getting in the way of it actively. Yes. He wants to be a goblin, I guess. Yes, because he is just evil. Because we also find out that he was a bully to another member of our... uh to wild idol yes one of the other members of that his k-pop jesus's group mm-hmm. and he, he this is another part where he runs away all sad and one of the dates he goes on on this dating show that he's on is, is him literally running get. out of the date saying i need to go find my group member who ran away and then having and the like cameras- a very heartfelt moment at like a pc box <laughs> With all these and cameras. Then, but also, everybody just comes with them. Yes. Like, the the girl. The date, the, the camera cameras, crew, the crew. Everybody. Literally just, just following just like, him. Do, 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 do. <laughs> We're all coming along. It's on and camera And so it's now. so funny when him and the other members of his group just roll up at this, like, PC cafe. But then all of these cameras are also there following him. It's very funny. Uh, so after this, after the Goblin Boys, mm-hmm. is I think where we get the the candy sponsorship, the weird candy we sponsorship, mentioning. because this is I truly the the wildest plot point of this show is the candy sponsorship, and it takes up so much of the show too. It like is the beginning of the end of the, like it is like the beginning of the third act. Yeah, like this is the this is our rising action, if you will. Yeah. So essentially, as we mentioned before other actor and mind you if it sounds like we're jumping around plot points it's because this show sort of starts a plot point does another plot point finishes another plot point and then goes back to it yeah like i think that the beginning of the the candy sponsorship like commercial shoot happens like before the weird dating thing and right. like in the middle of the goblin boy plot like yeah things are just sort of choppy right uh so him and the other actor have do like commercials for this new candy, whatever. And the and whole commercial find... is like him dressed as an angel, angel and like catching the other guy out of the sky and then feeding him a candy. It's very, it's very gay, lovers. very gay lovers, but like religious in a weird way, a little religious. But yes, so then the candy comes out, and anybody that eats the candy 
gets put into essentially a coma. Because the de- this demon, or not the demon, the, de- the devil, the literal the devil, devil, like, stands on top of a building, sends out all of his dark magic, and just, like, puts, like, a hundred plus people into comas. Obviously. Mm-hmm. And then, for some reason, the CEO of the company, like, disappears off the face of the planet. Yeah. So everyone just starts blaming K-pop Jesus. Yes. Because as, like... I don't fully grasp because it's, I understand that it's partially, you know, the devil and everything else, but also where the hell is, why are we blaming him for something he didn't make? Right. Because, so like, there's a lot of like bending over backwards they had oh, to do yeah. in order to get it. Like this is entirely his fault. So the I other mean, guy, at some point, it's like the other actor in this CF essentially makes this statement where he was like. I was coerced into this, and this other man was in collusion with this candy company, and he knew it was bad, Everyone and he knew, knew it was going to happen. At some point, was like, like what? everything comes back to haunt him, because it's like, he gets blamed for that. The lady that he was supposedly solicited by comes in and is like, well, actually, no, it was all him. Like, he actually solicited me, and I'm like, I don't yes. think that's how that works, lady, but... Mm-hmm. Or, like, he blackmailed her to solicit him, and I'm like, what? It's like, we're doing a, a really a lot. And then somehow he even gets blamed for that first evil kid that actually- that pushed a kid the down the pushed, stairs? <laughs> yeah. Actually, K-pop Jesus pushed him down the stairs, and I'm like, that is We can't stupid. just all be saying this, and people are all gonna believe it. Like, if we're just yes. pulling things out of the woodwork now. It's very funny. And so it's that so just tanks his reputation entirely. And because he essentially has no more supporters, his divine power is like gone. He like doesn't then, have it anymore. And also at some point, like mobs of like angry. Oh, there people are just, are just mobs everywhere. of angry family members hanging outside their like, dorm. Kill him. I, well, I think for some reason they're under the impression that only he knows the antidote to this. Well, candy. yeah, because the devil like infiltrates this these groups of family and is yes. like, actually, I found these emails that and he like, tell knows, us that but he, he just won't only- do it to save all your family members, which is an insane thing to believe. But this, oh, the, we also should bring up that the devil can just possess people and turn them evil. He can. He can like look at them, then their eyes will go red, both, and then they co- become under his control. Both. Be, both in like a contract way and then both in a against your will way because at some point the manager yes. also gets the red eyes yes yes it's a lot it's so much really essentially it's like a very weird thing happens with this candy thing where it essentially goes from him losing all of his power because no yes. one believes in him anymore to now these family members begging for his help Yes. Which now, because they're so dependent on him, it gives him his power back. And then he just sort of, like, saves everybody. And he just goes through the hospital and, like, will just go save a hundred people from comas. And it just only works out. Mm Mm-hmm. And that, um, for some reason, like, clears up his reputation entirely. Obviously. Like, super fast. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. I also think they find the CEO and he ends up going to jail. Yes, yes. Which, again, seems like poor that guy, who definitely was just possessed by the devil. Oh, sure, yes. And God only knows if it was even his fault. I know. Um. So then we get... Okay, so... Then we get, toward the end of this, there is the award show, right? Yes, yes. So, uh, the, both Wild Animal win a, an award for, like, best group, I forget what they're winning for. I don't know. Right. They win one of, of those, like, really bullshit awards that, like, clearly was like, just made up to give to a person. <laughs> that yeah, yeah, it's like, one, it's show. like, it's not like a day song. They're just winning, like, global superstars. Yeah, they're winning, like, one Colgate, of those, yeah. Da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. Sponsored by Hotels.com, like, those awards that always happen at every award show. And they win, uh-huh. and they're very happy. Good for them. And then... They try to go fight some demons and the cult because the cult's actually just appearing with hoods now everywhere and it's fine. Uh And this is where his other bandmate that was always like jealous try is going to go make a deal with the devil and then decides, never mind. That seems like a Um, stupid idea. Yes. Which fair enough for him. Uh, So then he comes back right on time to win his acting award 
and then they immediately switch back. Oh yes. And then we find out that the idol is a t- is a shitty shitty He's person. He's just a shitty shitty person. And we're not talking as like if it's a K-pop idol who's a shitty shitty person. No, it we're talking like this, okay. when he goes into this magical world, we yes. see the 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 night woman again. Mhm. And by night, I mean K, the K night, not the night as in evening. Yes, yes. Woman. And she, like, is going to go, is about to kill him because it's like, you fucked up so bad. We, like, pan out and, like, the, the church whole church is on, thing is on fire. fire. <laughs> Everyone has, like, fled into the mountains. And she's like, you, what did you do? Like, you, the demons uh-huh. are running a havoc. What the fuck happened? And then he, like, quickly establishes himself again. Mm-hmm. And then uh, works. I forget. How does he end up going back? Because um, he ends up having to go back to the real world. I think he, I think I think with... he gets in contact with the Grim Reaper woman. Because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think gets... she's actually more of, like, a real god than his god any other god because she seemingly has like eyes over all domains because are seemingly yeah because um, the grim reaper has like a grim reaper uh a higher up grim reaper in the yes, chain of yes. command if you will yes yes i think that's how he gets back to the real world and then there are just two of them there yeah and then there's two of them there except and then, they start then beating the one beating so the shit he starts out of beating him. the shit so k-pop jesus starts beating the shit out of the idol yeah and then it's just revealed that the idol is just this like just like a 45 year old man man in disguise as with his face yeah and then they and then they get a full explanation so turns out that their god had sent him here years ago because he was always jealous of the priest and he's like well i wanted to be better than you so he stole his face and became a k-pop idol but Mm -hmm. turns out he's just a shitty shitty k-pop idol yeah and then they just sort of leave him destitute. Yes. Because, no. They're like, no, we're not going to help you. You were always a piece of shit in both worlds anyway. Right. Which, fair enough. Which, honestly, I feel like that was a very good way to wrap up the fact that it's like, you can't clearly have two he of can't them. just, like, take over this K-pop idol's body forever. <laughs> like, but turns out he can, because turns the K-pop out he idol can, was never he real. he was a shitty, shitty person and wasn't actually a real person to begin yep. with, so. And also, turn- and then also that makes sense why this K-pop idol would just have no family. Yeah, it were, and he, everyone would hate And him. all of his group members just literally knew nothing about him, and we just, like, knew nothing of any of his family, because he just wasn't a real person in our world nope. to begin with. Good for him. Yes. Yes, yes. So, uh, then we get to the end of this show. So it turns out that God and the devil, well, the devil was in love with God. Uh-huh. It's, this, this is the part of the show that's, like, given, for, like, full book of revelations. This is the book I'm of like, revelations. Oh, are we in the end times? <laughs> We're in the end times. We are <laughs> in the end times. Good to know. So, like, turns out the devil and the God from his world were working together this whole time. Yes. And like the god is like actually God is I actually am, very evil. I am like, actually evil. evil. I want to rule the world. I want to be the only god. And turns yeah. out, high priest Jesus man, you are also a god. Mm-hmm. What? I was genuinely convinced that at some point it was just going to be revealed to us that he was the son of the devil and God. Right. Because I think that would have been hilarious. But no, we learned nothing of where this kid came from. All we, we know even, is that, We don't like, even get, like, you were left in a basket on the river Moses style. We all, learned no, nothing about this. All we this get is history. that, like, the God, like, gave him some of her godliness. So that's why he is also... A god? god in a weird way. Yes. Like, he has the powers he, of a god. Because unlike, because I think what they were saying, and, like, the Grim Reaper, like, already knew this before and just decided not to tell anybody because he's cryptic, uh, was like, no, your power, co- your power is not coming from god. Your power is coming from yourself. Because you, you are, are a god. god. You have, you are a god. Like, you do not have divine power because it was gifted to you. You are just a god. It is coming from inside of yourself. Thus, you are a god yourself. Yes. It's like, okay, Insane. Insane. So then the god kills the devil to take his powers, Mm -hmm. of course. Um, And then there's this weird battle between god and the devil. No, god and- god and Jesus. God and Jesus. There we go. Yep. And um, at some point, 
our female lead makes this weird deal with i think it's a deal with the devil but it then trans once the devil dies like transfers to like a deal with the grim reapers yeah and so between that they like destroy some artifact i don't know the end of this show is really where we were like we're just like things are happening and things are just happening happening, and all of this happens we were genuinely concerned of how the fuck this show was gonna end in one episode and it was it was an hour and we were like Oh, this was not enough time because no. there's too much happening. There's too much happening because the only way to like destroy this, the god, was to destroy this weird like artifact she had, which yes. is the, the way that she made deals with people to like steal yes. their souls and stuff. And then turns out that the most powerful god in this whole show was always the Grim Reaper lady, who apparently knew everything and just decided to tell and no was one. And just like, but also it that play seems out. like the most god thing to oh, do, yeah, which she's is like, just be yeah, cryptic I'm just as gonna shit. like watch it Let play, this out, play out and it'll be fine <laughs> it'll be fine so then and then also she keeps saying so then she puts that god in god jail and then we find out that she was actually never like a god she was like this weird seaweed spirit that saved a person that then they started worshiping as a god and then, so then they she got became god a god yeah and then that's sort of what happened to him because now he is a god too right and so she's in god jail and I think now because they killed the devil, things are out of like balance. Wha- like things are not balanced. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, no. What does happen if you kill the devil? Like, like the world how is does out that of work? Balance now. <laughs> like, are the demons just you know? Like, is this, what happens is, is, do to they the have demons? To, is this like the Pope? Do they have to elect a new devil from amongst their like? you know right? like, high priest, how does that work? high demon priest like how do you do, what is is there like black smoke and when you get the white smoke that's when they've elected a new devil right. like what's going like is pope style like mm-hmm. i need to know more about the specifics here. right right but so then he decides to stay in the real world like our world yes. instead of going back so i'm like did, are his entire subjects just still living in the mountains alone and scared right and it's just like i don't because that seems fucked the logic to just completely abandon his entire abandon country that. of people who or just escaped you are, you are like an there. attack imagine on the capital the pope <laughs> imagine if the pope just one day disappeared was replaced by a guy who seemingly has no idea what he's doing and yeah. then just runs the world ran into the grand. The Vatican is in flames. And then ran Everything away is falling and never apart. came back. And then just disappeared again. And now you're like, well, what the fuck's religion now? Where he was essentially like, they don't need me anymore. And I'm like, I feel like, because his logic is like. I feel like they like, need you more now. Because they're like, oh yeah, um, our God wasn't real. So they don't need me to like, foster, to like, you know be in charge of like relationships with god and i'm like okay so if their god has seemingly just disappeared and turned out evil you definitely need to be there my god why have you abandoned me you definitely need to to be there and help them through all of this trauma that's happening with them and their entire lives probably crumbling and like questioning everything they've believed their entire lives like you absolutely should need to be there for the rebuilding of the country (laughs) i mean to be honest you want to know when we knew, speaking of that line I just said, do you want to know when we were, like, full in on this show? Uh-huh. We spent the entire first episode being, like, there better be a my god, my god, why have you forsaken me? Mm-hmm. Please have that conversation. Please. We have and multiple. Happened. Multiple of those. We have multiple. But, like, that first one is really when we knew we were, like, yes. in on the show. We're, like, please. That's all we want. And then it's multiple my... times where he's just like praying in a Catholic church. Like this in, is like, not even your Christian religion, but like kind. he's just here in a church. He's here for the moral support. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So he stays being cave up idol. Just being a cave up idol. Because I assumed I thought maybe he was gonna stay and be like a demon hunter. No, it's no. like cave up idol first, demon hunter second. Yes. And he still and has then, his divine powers because he is still, still he's still a god that hasn't changed nope everything's just fine with it Mm -hmm. and then so because of the deal that was made with the grim reapers or the devil or whatever the main female lead does not remember him nope uh so she's just going through life still working at this company not knowing who the hell he is and then we just get cryptic lines from like the grim reaper lady who's like well you know sometimes well she's gotta pay for what she did sometimes life uh goes on and like does not seem that interested in like keeping this to be an actual punishment for anybody she's just like right. and then sometimes life happens right love finds a way very she's the most godlike god 
in this whole universe because she really is the amb- like it's very the greek style gods yes. where it's like very ambivalent yes yes like very much just like letting life happen and seeing how it plays out for their own entertainment because it was very much like oh but she still has to be punished for her sins but you never know destiny will do what it will <laughs> it's you never very know what will happen Park, life finds a way yep uh, and so then they meet on a rooftop and then there's like the the last minute knowing look of acknowledgement yep. and they presumably fall in love and live happily ever after. Then again, is he immortal? Oh, that's a good question. That is a thought he that just came into my mind. He, he's is a he god. Immortal? He's he probably god. is. He's god. So this is like really not going to go great for them long term. Mm-hmm. Also, as a cave vital, that's really not going to go great for him long term. He will oh, have yes. to fake his own death at some point because mm-hmm. he is god. He is. What can kill god other than god? He's got to have a fight with another god. <laughs> if there is one. I think the show is very much promoting polytheism very because that one so. monotheistic religion ended real badly. It did. It ended real badly, and then we had to like get the other godlike figure to like interfere and help us out. So yep, it's a lot. A lot happened. The show is a lot. I did this realize this is one of the first like the quote unquote interspecies romance category of shows that we hate that was actually enjoyable. Because the thing with it, for the most part, you don't think it's interspecies romance. Right. And it's, like, it is, but also we're not here for the romance aspect of it. Like, we're I here because it's, it's, inter- a, it's a fun yes. hijinks about religion. <laughs> because here's the thing. I think that there are, the more human the, the, the interspeciesness is, the less weird it is. Yeah. So, like, you start out the worst part, which is, like, per animal that turned human. Right. That's bad. That we don't like. Uh, and then you go up to, like, werewolves, sure, vampires, sure, fairies, sure, mermaids, questionable, because they are a little too fish for me. Mm-hmm. And then you get to, like, God, and I'm like, God is just people with powers. Yes. God is kind of like just being with a magician. Mm-hmm. Like, it's it's more okay. On the scale of interspecies romance, it's on the more acceptable side. Though then you do have to grapple with the existential crisis of are they immortal and then just gonna watch right. everyone they love die. Can he make her immortal? Um, I don't, I have so I don't know what the limits of the godly power God power are. We don't really know. I have no idea. There's so many things that, like, I have so many questions. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like... Is he immortal? What's the logistics of the god powers? What do we do with, like, what, ha- like, how do you elect a new devil? Or are we just devilless forever? Yeah. Also, where does Catholicism fit into all of this? Is Catholicism, and by extension, because, like, the god and all of these religions are the same, mm-hmm. by extension, Judaism and Islam all worshipping not a real god? Yeah. Because that god we don't meet. Right. And we meet a lot of other people. Like, because that's like the three main world religions. And they all kind of are, are the same god. Like, same number one god. But, like, different variations from there. Mm-hmm. Are those all fi- And then also Again, I'm getting really, down to every other religion It really world. gets you questioning religion. And I do not think the writers of this show intended it to be as religious oh, absolutely as it not. was in any capacity. Absolutely not. But considering the two of us and our, like, knowledge of religion, it's, like, impossible and to watch this and also our absolute, not, like, like, religion. Our overthinking of every plot we've ever seen of just, like, well, this is the logical, like, if you take two more steps, this is the conclusion. Mm-hmm. And you know what? Sometimes the conclusion is just maybe three steps ahead of where the uh, writers were going with. Right? It's fine. I don't need all the answers. I also think it's just really funny to think of this. Yes. Yes, yes. And it's, it just was so, it was so funny. (laughs) That's really what I enjoyed about it. It was so funny. It's it, just so ridiculous, but this show knew it was a joke, and that's what I think is oh, good about it. I want to give a special, uh, a special, uh, what's it called? What's it called? I want to talk about uh, uh, Kim Ming Yu for a second, who mm. plays our, uh, our plays our main our main K-pop Jesus. Yes, yes. 
he knew his role. Oh, absolutely. He knew he, everything. He absolutely was on top of this character he so was well. He so good. He Such, is the he, one that the honestly deli- made The delivery this show of all of it, like his lines were so good. So good. Oh my gosh, he did such a good job with this character. I, lo- I have, I watched him in a Brim's proposal last year. He was great. Honestly, he's so good. I want to see him in more things yeah. because I think that he was honestly just like a really good actor in this and he does comedy so well. Mm-hmm. Um, I also want to mention I, the actor that plays the devil mm-hmm. because I could tell he was doing as good as he can. He was just too young. That was too young. We needed like a, like a middle-aged old man double. The character, yeah. So Kim uh, Mingyu is 28 years old. Yeah. He's playing younger, I think a little bit, but the actor that plays the devil, uh, Lee jong is only 37. Yeah. I think we needed a, uh, an actor that was at least in his 50s. Yeah. I do know that that then makes the, uh, kind of the, ro- the quote-unquote romance between him and the, the god the god a little weird. But also that romance isn't real. Yeah. So, That was purely also- used as, like, um, what is the word? Manipulation. To begin a manipulation with. tactic. So I think it would have been. But fine also, if we, we but we also still got the like storyline of the the CEO with the with the ballad yes. man, and that was like an older person romance, and that was cute and yeah. everything. So. so I think that it would have. I think that he needed to be at least a little bit older to just be a little bit more intimidating. He did well. I yeah. liked the actor. He did fine. I just think that the like overall aesthetic. There's only so much you can do when you look kind of close to the same age as the male lead. Mm-hmm. I also want to say the CEO of this show. Oh, I loved her. So funny. Absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Everything she said. She was so funny. I loved her. She was She was great. very much leading that I, head of like, that this man's having a mental break. Put him on television. <laughs> I also absolutely loved the, the, I, the ballad singer with the everyone else kind of weird yeah the ballad singer with uh the ceo lady and their little weird romance amazing so good because you get flashbacks of their whole relationship yes. and it's hilarious so funny <laughs> i would love to see a full story about that yes we don't get enough like older person romances in these shows right i think it would be amazing mm-hmm the CEO very much of the mindset that any publicity is good publicity. is good publicity. We gotta pay our bills. They haven't been making money ever. This <laughs> is the like, first time I don't care how money. controversial he is. If he's getting attention, that's all we need right now. It's, we we need some cash We need flow. something. Honestly, this show is amazing. It's so fun. If you go into it expecting stupid. Yes. You like, have do a not time. go into this show expecting it to be good in any capacity. But if, if you go in just expecting to have fun, that's that's the way to enjoy it. And I think oh, yeah, that's absolutely. been our like our mindset with a lot of shows this year is like also with like Exo Kitty. Like I think oh, the reason we liked that show so much is because we did not ex- go into that show expecting to like it. We went in expecting it to be bad. But then if because of go, that, we thought it was, like, unserious, and I was like, yeah, this is fun. Like, it's dumb. If you like, go super into things dumb, but expecting, it's like, perfection and, like, top tier, I'm like, no. Go into life expecting fun. Yes. And then you have fun. That's why we like sh- I th- I think, honestly, I would prefer a show like this over a show that takes himself too seriously. Yes. Shows Absolutely. that are like you have a stupid plot and they went a hundred percent serious with it, yeah. I think is with like this show goes serious with the plot, but it knows where it's like the serious it's camp. Yes. It's like it's take so it camp. seriously, but you have that comedy aspect to it. You know that this is a ridiculous situation. Mm-hmm. As opposed to, no, this is a serious show. This is a serious romance. No laughs. Yes. Like, no. That, at that point, you've made a boring show, and I don't like it. Mm-hmm. I feel like a good, like, comparison to that would be Imitation, which is our least favorite yeah. of the K-pop K-dramas, because that show had such a bad plot, but was taking yeah. itself so seriously, so seriously for what it was. I'm like, this is not a good show. The show had the devil in it, and the devil made me laugh more times the in devil, the show than we had any a, character The main imitation. character of the show was K-pop Jesus. Like, literally. 
I was genuinely expecting him to be the son of God at some point. I, I was really expecting, like, a full resurrection arc. Like, I was expecting him to die and then get brought back arc. to life. Like, I was expecting that. That's what I thought that. was happening at the end. Right? But it didn't. He's just... He did it. I we mean, didn't he didn't end up going Jesus to the arc. underworld and talking to that lady. So it he kind did. of was a resurrection. He did it in a way. Of. But we didn't in get, like, way. a full Jesus has been resurrected, died in resurrection. In <laughs> yeah. We got Stigmata. Mm-hmm. I feel like it would have been hilarious if he, you know that if if he would have ended up with a scar of some kind from this whole battle, oh God. that's what I knew that they would have oh, backed yes, up yes, the Bible. Yes. It's like I need like vague Stigmata somewhere. Yes, even if it's just like a Harry Potter like forehead scar, I just need something. Right. I would have loved to know what the writers of the show background in religion is or if they oh, were just I think like it, pulling I, shit I out of so nowhere. so many questions. Yeah. Because it's so fun. This it's show's so hilarious. Fun. But, but that yes. was The Heavenly Idol. The Heavenly Idol. Woohoo. A delightful time It was around. truly such a good palate cleanser to fantasy boy. Honestly, it was such like, a good palate cleanser. We, we watched this, this in like the five days immediately after the fantasy boys finale and it and was like such a better. It, I needed it washed this. all the bad taste out of my Absolutely. mouth. Absolutely. Even though every time I think about that lineup, I still get a little angry. I get angry every time I'm confronted with the fact that they exist. But, you know, that's a problem for Here later when they debut. But on an, on an up note, I do get happy now that I've actually bought the Boys Planet ZB1 albums. Uh-huh. So now we're, those are happening. There's things in life that still bring joy. Yes. Yes, yes. Not as many as I would have liked, but there are some. Are still some. But that has been the Heavenly Idol. One of the funniest AKA things we've watched K-pop this year. A.K.A. K-pop Jesus. A.K.A. the one about K-pop Jesus. Yes. Um, so we are available on all major podcasting platforms like Apple Podcasts and Spotify. We also have a YouTube channel where we post all of our episodes along with clip videos occasionally as well. And with that, we will see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye.